exception reporting and compression testing offer you the opportunity for maximum efficiency with your Pi points. The idea is to only store and deliver meaningful data in the Pi archives while discarding all the noise. Now, although Pi is capable of storing enormous amounts of data, it's still important to store only meaningful data in order to make our Pi servers run the most efficiently and effectively that they can. So, have you ever refreshed a trend only to see some data points disappear or seem to disappear? What you're seeing is the effect of exception and compression. The first test of these two of exception and compression is exception. Exception reporting takes place on the Pi interface node before the value is ever sent to the Pi server. So here I have a thermal couple measuring temperature and it has a certain instrument precision. And successive values come in, however many of them are within the instrument precision. So we would call these values, we would, we would say that they don't really have meaning. They're not, they're not significant and we shouldn't base decisions on them. And fortunately the Pi system gives us an option through exception to filter these out and not burden our network traffic or our Pi server's performance with them. We do that with two settings, with exception deviation, which defines the width of this deadband, and with exception maximum, which defines the maximum length of time to go before reporting a new value. So to see this, it's easy just to see it in action. Here we have some raw values that were scanned at a data source, and we're going to apply exception to them. So we'll start off with our first value and values that come in. Now, as they come in, we see that they're within the dead band and they'll drop off. And one other note to make, we've kept the previous value here. This is important so that we can fully preserve the fidelity of the data later on. But here we have all the raw values that pass the exception algorithm and were sent to the snapshot table. OSSOFT's recommendations for exception are that you set the exception deviation to a little bit less than the instrument precision, or perhaps about half of the compression deviation. For more details, you can consult this KB article, 3226OSI8, at techsupport.ossisoft.com. The next test is the compression test. This is a more thorough test and defines which data is actually stored into the Pi archives. What's special about this test compared to exception is that it has a slope. This is why we sometimes call it the swinging door algorithm. It's like a door viewed from above. It has a thickness and a length and it swings so that it can be at many different slopes. Again, like exception, there are deviation settings and a maximum setting. Again, this is easy to see in action, so we're going to see it applied, the compression test applied, to all those raw values from before. We start with the most recent archive value that has made it into the Pi archives. Next, we compare it to a snapshot value, and we apply the compression deviation to define one angle. And then we compare future values to see if they fall within that angle or outside of it. So we see the raw value scanned at the data source, what passed exception, what passed compression, the trend that will be drawn in Pi Process Book or Pi Coresight, and we can see that all the raw values fall within the, the dead band set up by compression deviation. For more information, check out techsupport.osisoft.com or look at the more thorough exception and compression video.